Good morning, good morning, good morning, fam. It is Thursday, and it is trash day Thursday. Time for us to throw away something in our lives that shouldn't be there that is preventing us. For, first of all, it shouldn't be there, number one. Number two, it's preventing us from being our absolute best, and it's preventing us from giving our absolute best to the world. I know it sounds like a broken record, but guess what? We are constantly in the mode of improvement, okay? So sometimes through repetition and saying the same thing over and over and over, that's how it really gets in your mind and in your head to make a difference in your life and to make changes that is gonna make you a better you. So what are we gonna throw away on this trash day Thursday that is doing preventing us from being our best selves so on this trash day Thursday we want to throw away resentment that's right we want to throw away resentment let's talk about resentment for a little bit um, <clears throat> first of all when you hold resentment in your heart against someone uh, for what they did or did not do to you um, it's not harming anybody but you, number one. So um, the person that's gonna be affected by that the most, holding on that resentment is you. Um, and it prevents and um, it uh, <clears throat> creates problems in our lives that make the whole situation worse. It creates stress, it creates health issues, uh, it creates mental issues. Um, <clears throat> it causes us not to be our best person. It causes us to walk in, 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 in it um, actually, causes other things to come into our lives because we're holding on to that resentment, like unforgiveness, um, like not walking in the love that we should walk in. So it's almost like a leaven effect that other things happen as a result of us holding on to resentment. And um, the truth of the matter is, when you hold on to resentment, the person that you're holding that resentment against probably don't even care probably have gone on and moved on with their lives and not even thinking about the situation or the circumstance that happened that you're holding that resentment to. So the person that is suffering the most is you. The person that is suffering the most is me when we hold on to that. So on this Trash Day Thursday, we want to throw away that resentment. Let's take a moment to think about and reflect and say, um, what is it in my life that I'm holding on resentment to? And you might have to pray about it because it may be things that you don't even realize. It may be things that you've been holding on so long that they feel like normal. It may be things that you don't even realize is resentment in your life that's causing issues in your life um, and you've just blocked it out, okay? So sometimes it takes digging a little deeper to go a little deeper to say, hey, um, what am I holding holding on or what am I holding resentment to of things in my life? It could be against a person. It could be against even a situation that happened in your life that may not be necessarily anybody's fault, but just because life happens and we live in a world where bad things do happen to good people, um, you may be holding resentment to that. So um, I know it might be hard to let it go because Sometimes you feel or think that it's comfortable holding on that resentment because it protects you in some kind of way when in actuality it really doesn't. Okay, so on this Trash Day Thursday, let's take a moment to reflect. Uh, let's take a moment to be silent for a moment and just think, you know, Lord, what am I holding resentment on in my life? And if I can't release that resentment on my own, can you help me, God, to release that so that I can be free and so that I can be my best self and give my best self to the world? That's what we want to do on this Trash Day Thursday. Throw away that resentment. Okay? All right. So wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope that you have a super fantabulous Thursday. I hope that you have a super fantabulous weekend and Super Bowl weekend. If you're going to Vegas or already in Vegas, I hope you're having a super fantabulous time. And we shall see you on the next video. Mm -hmm. How about that?